What's Gucci people? It's your boy Chef Boy Easy, aka Hosco. Today, <laughs> haven't said that in a while. Today we're gonna be doing some smothered potatoes and we're gonna be doing some grilled lobster, baby. You see it on the deck right now. I haven't did a video in a while. I thought I might as well just come back and do some lobster. I got some decent lobster tails right here. We're about to get this jumping. And I'm sorry for the inactivity on the videos. We're going to come back and do some more. But like I said, we're going to do some grilled lobster. Normally, I do. Last time I did it, I did on a barbecue grill. You can do it that way. Or you can actually just do it on a stove. And I'm going to be doing some baked potatoes too. So y'all stick around. And let's go to this lobster. Coochie. Now we hopping into the smothered potatoes part. I'm going to dice this potatoes up. We're going to have it on speed mode. That's fast mode if you don't know. And let's go. Just gonna dice them real small, you don't want them too big. And this right here is just enough for two people. If it was a bigger meal, there'd be a whole bunch more potatoes. Look at me, I'm gonna chop my finger off. Thank God I got two hands, huh? More fingers. You actually, when you cut, you can just kind of tuck your fingers in. All right, and after you got your potatoes like this right here, we we'll to make sure they some decent sizes. Just cut them up a little bit more. Because I don't want to be, you know, just no fat potato. Alright, you're going to just come over here. I'm going to cut my stove on a little bit higher. Make sure I got it on the right one. Turn it up. You want the stove to sizzle first. You heard me? Got to sizzle for the gizzle, baby. So you just want to sizzle a little bit. I got a little bit of grease in here, vegetable oil. Just want to put it in there. You want to get it hot enough. Well, as soon as you throw the potatoes in there, you want to make it sizzle. And you want to keep stirring it. So it's getting decent right now. I'm going to cut it up a little bit high to the max. 300 degrees. And like I say, I haven't did a video in a while. I recently had a child. She's four months old. I might do a video with her pretty soon. I have my wife holding her. Might just have it in the background. But recently I moved. This is just a stepping stone. We're still in LA. We about to cop another house, another crib, a bigger crib. So right now we just doing what we can for the moment. And we're going to keep it Gucci. We Gucci. Right now we got the grease a little bit hot now. So we want to come through. I'm doing this with one hand. So excuse me. You want to throw the potatoes in there. Stuff up. And you just want to stir this for a while. And we're going to do a, the first beginning of it and I'll show you what it looks like after it's finished. So you just want to keep stirring this. And like I say, this is just for one person. If it was a bigger meal, it'd be like, you know, the whole thing would be full. So you want to keep stirring. And when I do it at the beginning of my videos, I like to add my salt and pepper. So you just want to add a little bit just like that. Get it all covered. And then the salt, don't go overboard on the salt. We will just make it nice. Like that. All right. So we got that in there. And you want to keep stirring, you don't want it to stick. That smells real good too. Normally, when you're cooking food, it takes a while for it to start smelling good. But this is smelling delicious. The baby just woke up, so that's why I got this one hand, just working it right now. So I'm going to keep stirring this, and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when it's finished. So this is what it looks like, we're going to come back. So you want to cook it down to about, it's about this brown, put a little fresh onion in there. See, so you can't wiggle it right now because it's kind of sticking. So you just want to kind of move them around in there. I mean, they're getting soft, just like that. Let's move them around. But I've been doing this probably for about the last five minutes. You want them to get real soft, that's why it's a smothered potato. Just get them in there where you can move it. And you can come back and just move them around. I added a little water in there. Add a little water in there, it helps for it not to stick. It does just like that. It helps them kind of move around a little bit more. You might have to give me another camera tripod. You do it just like this. You can actually add meat in this, you can see it a little closer. But oh, it smells 10 times good, baby. About to heat up a little bit with the roller. This is going to be the end of this part right here. This is almost finished. So I'm going to show what this will look like. You want it a little bit browner than this, but I'm going to go ahead and start on the lobster. So you want it about this right here, but a little bit browner. And you're just going to kind of move it around the pot. Get it all spaced out so it can all cook. That. 
So after that right there, we're gonna jump to the lobster. All right, the next step is doing the lobster. I already did the sauteed potatoes and everything is not actually in smothered. But what I'm gonna do with my lobster is, I'm gonna start from the middle. Try to get this best view as you can see. You start from the middle, you can start from the middle just like that. And you just wanna do it right in the middle. Don't go all the way through the other side, but you just wanna do it right here. Kinda get it to like right there, so it peel off. Almost like a big crawfish. So you just wanna peel the skin off this side right here. You wanna peel a shell off, see, just like that. And a lot of people, and there's, there's different ways of cooking lobster. You got like three or four different ways of cooking it. You can do it on the grill. Just making sure my pan is not too hot. I don't want it to sizzle too hard when I do it. Don't do it with a dirty hand, but I just cut my stove off. So when you do the first one, you just want to come back and do it straight down the middle like that. So you kind of open it up. You got it open. And then you uh, you could clean it just like this too. But I'm going to keep my back piece on just like this. I'm going to take the two things off. So I'm going to keep that one on just like that. And that'll be one. It smells so good, man. Raw seafood smells so good, but it ain't good for you. So then you want to do it like this. I suggest get a real big knife or a sharper knife. So you gotta do it like that. Almost like if you watch one of my videos, I got the crawfish video, they got my daughter on the side acting up. She about to go off on camera. All right, so I'm gonna do this as quick as possible. I'm gonna kick this off. I'm gonna cut it in the middle, just like that. Don't cut, I don't cut, as you see, I didn't cut it all the way. I didn't cut it all the way through the inside. You see, you still got all this. So these are the two lobsters right there. You can zoom in, and then I'm gonna clean them, and then I'm gonna put them on the stove. We're gonna go from there. All right, next step for the lobster is actually seasoning it on the cutting board. So we're gonna start just like that. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit fast. My daughter over there, she about to go off on me. I'm just gonna take a little bit of salt and do it just like that. You don't want too much. Go over the next one just like that. And I'm gonna come back with a little bit of pepper. Like I said, it's different ways of cooking it, so it's never a wrong way unless it's nasty. You want to do just like that. I'm gonna come back with a little Tony Satchel sauce. I'll put my hand over it just in case it's too much. I actually can tell. Do just like that. And I'm gonna put the lemon after I put it on there, but I'm gonna cut my grease down a little bit. And what you wanna do is you wanna put it on there backwards. Just like that. And put it on there backwards. You put both of them on there backwards. Then I'm gonna come back, clean the cutting board. It's all getting cooked, so it, you know, everything's good. Clean my cutting board. I'm gonna take my lemon, big lemon. It's a big dog lemon. Look at that lemon. Size of that lemon. It's a big dog lemon. Look at that lemon. Size of that lemon. Came from this came from my girl uh grandma house. They got a lemon tree in the backyard. So I'm gonna do my lemon just like that. <laughs> it's a big dog squeeze. So you wanna do it just like that, and you can come back. I actually can take a little bit and you can just crush a little bit over the back, just like that. Put a little bit in the water. You don't want too much, but there you go. Say the limit for your dish. You can actually put it on there, but then I'm gonna stir my potatoes. We're gonna show y'all what this looks like in a little while and sit then keep it Gucci. All right, people, zoom in quick. As you see, this is what the lobster look like when it's probably about 50% cooked. You wanna keep it just like this and kind of rotate it. I got butter in here. I actually put uh, a little bit more butter and some lemon like I showed you. But you can do it like this. This is the lobster. Just like that. Huh? Oh, I put the lemon, I put, I put, I squeezed another little bit on there, just a little bit. Like I said, you don't put too much. Put a little bit of lemon on the top of it. And this is almost like a saute slash grill. It's just not on the grill. So you want to do it just like that. And you want to wait till all the meat is almost like brown. And that's the two of them. Keep it just like this. And like I said, I constantly go back and I look at the colors. You can tell from the color. But they're looking good and smelling good, and I got the peas on the back stove right now, and of course the smothered potatoes, but they're in the pot. But I just take these like this, and I just keep adding butter. So this is how you make the lobster. The next thing I'm going to show you is the presentation on the plate, and like I said, I appreciate y'all for watching these videos. I finally hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Like I said, I got me a new place, so I'm going to be able to you know, focus on what I'm doing on the t-shirts and I also have a t-shirt business I'm gonna list that below if anybody need anything printed <laughs> I feel crazy because I'm advertising on my own page like I say if you need anything printed from t-shirts to pants to, to hoodies to hats and anything embroidery contact me I'll put a link below but we're gonna get back to this lobster you see just like that it's just kind of sauteing it I keep flipping it just like that and what you can do is you can put a screw through the middle so um, so basically uh, it's, it's almost like a big long toothpick, put it like that. Almost like on the shush kebab. You put it through there and then keep the lobster from folding. Because what the lobster do is, you know, they kind of fold inside. 
So these are like 10 times bigger, but you can see it's kind of folded right there. But like I said, we're gonna just cook this just like this. And then we'll be back and we'll show the presentation of the locker. But everything's smelling good. Let's get this rolling, baby. Keep it Gucci. All right, people, this is the smarter potatoes and lobster dish that I was telling y'all about. I'm about to show you what the presentation look like. It's smelling 10 times good in here, and one time is good enough, but it's 10 times in this joint, you heard me? But like I said, this is a dish right here. You got your lobster over here, then you got your, your melted butter right here in here. You got your lemon, smarter potatoes, and your sweet peas. Of course, the beautiful lobster tail. That's what the lobster tail is supposed to look like, and you can zoom in, zoom in for them. Show them how clean. Yeah, look at look at the lobster tail. The meal is looking nice. You got a backup. There you go. You can see it. You got your, your your dark edges on it and everything. The whole thing is cooked. And you got your other one over here. Like I said, this is a small lobster dish. I'm about to cook two more so we can have two apiece. I appreciate y'all for watching these videos. And today, stick around and keep it Gucci, baby. I got some decent lobster tails. 